One of the greatest things about video marketing is that search engines, like Google, love them. In general, they prefer them to written content simply because their users, i.e. you, would also prefer to watch videos over read an article. As such, they rank higher for certain keywords. This video will go through the steps required for you to rank higher in Google for keywords and will also feature some basic information on how to choose a more profitable keyword with Google's external keyword tool. Visit adwords.google.com slash select slash keyword tool external. At the time that this video was made, Google was in the process of upgrading their current keyword tool. To keep things consistent, we'll also be using the old version of their keyword tool purely because it's been used for more than 10 years for keyword research and is more reliable for that reason. If you see the new version of the keyword tool, click the previous interface link at the top right corner of this page. For keyword queries, you'll be typing your keywords into this box here. Now if you've been learning anything about keyword research, you'll know that it's an area that has many conflicting theories. Some people say you should look at the number of pages there are in Google in quotes. Then you dig a bit deeper and you get some conflicting results as to what's the ideal number of results in quotes. I'm going to be suggesting another theory that I use personally to get my pages ranked in Google. I only do things that make sense to me and hopefully you'll use this method too because it makes sense to you, not because I told you to follow it. Before you do that, you obviously want to know whether, number one, your keyword is profitable or not, i.e., can you expect to make money from that keyword, and two, whether there is a market for that keyword, i.e., are there enough people actually searching for that keyword. First thing you do is type in your keyword. You should see three things appear in columns next to the suggested keywords that appear. Advertiser competition local search volume most recent month and global monthly search volume this part is crucial there's a column next to the global monthly search volume in small font it says match type underneath there's this drop down menu that says well currently broad click on the down arrow and select exact broad refers to that keyword but with each individual keyword in no particular order Exact refers to that keyword with all the individual keywords in that order. For example, HP Mini Laptops. You will see a few things change here. Firstly, the keywords will now have square brackets around them. Secondly, the global monthly search volume should have decreased. The sweet spot for this number is 3,000. Any more and some other internet marketer would have probably already found it any less and there wouldn't be enough visitors to convert. Above this you should see a choose columns to display window. If you click the drop down menu you can get rid of local search volume if you wish since you're more interested in visitors from all around the world. The more important thing is to bring up the show estimated average CPC. This is the estimated dollar value that PPC competitors are paying to get their ad to show in Google. In general, if the PPC advertisers are paying at least 50 cents a click, you would think that they're onto something. Get a keyword with at least 3,000 in exact searches and 50 cents in estimated average CPC, and as far as basic keyword research is concerned, you're done.